Get ready. There's some serious competition coming in open source AI in just the next few months, and you don't want to miss it. DeepSeek R2 is tentatively scheduled to come out in May, but DeepSeek wants to release it sooner, so it could be out in the next month or two. It's going to be another reasoning and thinking model. We don't really know what kind of training data it's going to use because there was some controversy with DeepSeq R1. No one knew if it was trained with synthetic data from OpenAI and ChatGPT, which it may have been because some of its output claimed to be made by OpenAI. There's also the whole issue with the computational power on DeepSeq R1 being less than other open source models, which caused NVIDIA stock to plummet and took a little hit there. Who knows? Maybe DeepSeq R2 is going to up the ante on the processing efficiency. Next up is Llama 4 from Meta. It's going to be another reasoning and deep thinking model. And what's interesting about this is they've taken a really long time to train it. And there are rumors that they trained it. DeepSeq R1 came out. They paused the development of Llama 4. And then they had to kind of compete with R1. Suddenly R2 is going to come out. Now there's rumors that they're going to be delaying the Llama 4 release again just to make sure it competes with DeepSeq R2. Llama 4 is going to feature agentic capabilities and also be able to handle multimodal tasks all at once with text, visual, and also audio all at the same time. This could mean smarter chatbots, better creative tools, and just another stepping stone towards AGI. Next up is Grok 2, which was a closed source model, but XAI and Elon Musk promised to release the previous version of Grok is open source when a new version comes out. So now that Grok 3 beta is out, they're going to be releasing Grok 2 as open source relatively soon. I don't know how Grok 2 by itself without being a reasoning model is going to compete with Llama 4 or DeepSeq R2, but I would figure that with fine tuning and being able to combine models, someone's probably going to mix DeepSeq R2 or some other kind of reasoning capability with Grok 2, and I'm sure someone will fine tune it into being a reasoning model at some point along the way. There are also some other offerings from some businesses out of the U.S. and some Chinese outfits, and I'll get into that in a little bit. Interestingly, all these models are going to kind of come out around the same time, most likely within the next two or three months. And you've seen when a bunch of creators of models just drop a bunch of different stuff all at once and things really heat up all together. It's been a little bit slow lately. But we're going to eventually, pretty soon probably, reach one of those times when a lot of stuff happens at once. It's going to be a lot to keep up with, and it will be information overload. I'm going to try to keep up with making videos about it. So to recap what we got so far, we got DeepSeq R2 with reasoning ability. We got Llama 4 with reasoning and multimodal capabilities and agentic capabilities. And Grok 2 with an unknown level of capabilities, which I think is going to be dependent upon fine tunes. Also, as of today, Quen came out with QWQ32B. I had done a video about the preview version. The full version is out now and then recently google released Gemma 2 which is a series of small to medium sized multimodal models as far as the near future is concerned all the timelines i have are anywhere from tentative releases to rumors so it's very difficult to tell but i can see how the competition and the hype is heating up and something is probably going to happen soon stay tuned for more and i'll keep you updated